on this bumpy beer tasting from Allagash Brewing Company out of Portland, Maine. I have Haunted House. Haunted House is a uh, hoppy dark ale. Comes in at 6.66% ABV. And, uh, yes, uh, it's fun this <laughs> this time of season. Um, this beer is about a month, about five, we'll say five weeks at the time of this tasting. Um, old, but uh, perfect for this time of year. Let me go ahead and uh, just read the little back here i haven't read it yet so just want to see what it says um it says doomed by a love of pitch black porters in our algash house beer we summoned the recipe for haunted house roasted barley and black prince malt cursed this beer with a gravely dark hue hopped with crystal chinook and saz hops this beer ends with a ghostly coffee note and hauntingly complex malty palate. We brewed all of our beers at a single brewery in Portland, Maine, just like we have since 1995. If you're ever in the area, we'd love to show you around. So, I got uh, some flavor notes in there, I guess. Um, but I will just erase all that, ghosting my memory. Uh, let's go ahead and pour this into fall festive glass wow that is i wish i could show that i actually have a i had a uh, little bead uh of foam on top of the rest of the beer i was just dancing around a little ghost bead with this pour it has a kind of mocha colored head, looks pretty frothy. There's a mixture of very tight, small to medium sized bubbles. The color of the beer itself, I get like a little bit of a brown to reddish hue in the reservoir down here. But yes, it's very um, quite uh, dark and black. All right, so for the appearance, Six out of six. All right, let's go in for the aromas. So, um, First thing I was noticing in the aromas was a roasted barley note. Um, then I hung up on, I don't know really what, I mean, it's Allagash. They do a lot of Belgians. They're probably using some type of Belgian yeast in this. Um, from what I can, after smelling on it for a while, the only thing I can kind of describe it as is like a, chocolate banana laffy taffy type aroma um and uh smelling on it, i was searching for some coffee since i did read it there's like right after that uh weird chocolate banana laffy taffy note maybe like a weak hint of coffee maybe like really old cold type coffee um but uh, yeah, coffee is definitely not any anything in the dominating aromas. Um, it's more that roasted barley and then that kind of chocolatey banana type thing going on. So I'm going to give this, it's just interesting. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 though uh, for the aromas. So it's time to go in for the first swig. Cheers.
All right, for the flavors, get a little bit of like a, a roasted barley note. It's not really much after that coming out from the malt so much um, till the tail end. There is this kind of medium coffee blend, um, like a black coffee blend. It kind of sneaks up at the tail end, um, which does go with this kind of mild lingering bitterness that carries on afterwards. It's kind of what you're left with. It's kind of this black coffee bitterness at the end. Um, in the middle, after that initial roast barley type flavor though, I was kind of getting this earthy herbal spiciness. There does seem to be some type of fruit flavor in there as well cannot say what type of fruit it is but it does seem to be kind of a little bit on the uh the fruity side there um seems to be a medium body it's a very smooth mouthfeel to this one because there is almost no carbonation this is basically like drinking a guinness uh, a Guinness Irish Stout on Nitro with uh, maybe a, I don't know a little bit less coffee flavor in it um, yeah I'm going to give this an 11 out of 19 for the flavors uh, the body on it's fine being medium and having that smoothness isn't bad either uh, give it a 5 out of 5 my overall on this I mean, I don't, I don't really care for this all that much. Um, it's not disgusting, but I, I wouldn't pick it up again myself, really. So I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10 for my overall. Um, so for the Allagash Brewing Company's Haunted House Hoppy Dark Ale... It gets a bumpy 35 out of 50. That's going to land this as an average brew. So, cheers guys and thank you for watching.